the meeting at the State Lodge in the UPDF's 4th Division barracks in Gulu municipality was closed to the press. According to the Kila County North MP Anthony Akol, the team from Acholi want to maintain settlement in a power while the Madi insist on eviction from the contested land. We said, this is not the way we are going to negotiate on this issue. Because number one, people are still suffering. Their attacks are going on in Apa. Free women, those who could not afford to run, those who were caught in the market in a Cholipe, a certain place called Gaji, the women were beaten seriously and one woman is paralyzed. She's in Lacho Hospital. How can you then sit there to discuss about their plight when they're in the hospital? The meeting that started on Thursday was adjourned to 14th September to allow the Acholi team to consult with their people. Reports indicate that the Acholi want the matter of security to be addressed and they are not comfortable with the presence of the first Deputy Prime Minister, General Moses Hali, who they say has been disrespectful to them. When the meeting got finished, he was again caucusing with the team from Ajumani. My point and the point of our team is very simple. In the next meeting, we will not want to see him there. If he wants to sit there, that means that Jumani district should withdraw one member and replace it with Mozali. Because we were in the same in the meeting with General Ali mm. from the beginning up to the end, mm. and General Ali did not sit on either side. He was not on the side of the actually negotiating team. Neither was he on the side of the Jumani negotiating team. He sat next to the Prime Minister. And that was the position he took as a, a government person. So he went into that meeting as a first deputy prime minister, not uh, as part of either of the teams. Ajumani District Chairman James Leku, who NTV contacted on phone, says the talks were fruitful and that the Madi are only waiting for a resolution on the 14th. And uh, it's not true that the meeting was suspended. What happened was that the, the team from Acholi requested for more time to do consultations so they will get back to the team mm. on uh, what options they are okay, taken because the president gave us three options and um, so they, they indicated that they had not consulted on the three options and requested to be allowed one week to go and consult and that's what happened, that was not suspended. The contention over the land bordering Amur and Rajmani districts started in 2011 and at least 18 people are reported to have been killed while scores were injured in clashes. When government finally demarcated the land, it said that it belonged to Ajumani district. Also, National Forestry Authority and Uganda Wildlife Authority have accused the occupants of living here illegally.